course, I don't have much left, so everyone liked it. Of course, that makes me happy. And we had a, such a wonderful time. But anyway, let me taste it. Sometimes lasagna, like a lot of foods, it tastes, I don't want to say better, but all the ingredients and the spices and everything get to meld together so much more or whatever. And so sometimes it's good the day after too. Mm. Hey, hi you guys. I'm Amy, Amy Roloff, and we're in my little kitchen. So thank you for being here. Um, I am making seafood lasagna. I thought I would give that a try, lighten it up from maybe the heaviness of a meat, tomato-based lasagna. So I don't know, I just thought seafood would be kind of fun, especially all the heavy eating that we usually do during the winter, the casseroles, the comfort food, the soups. Oh, the soups are wonderful. So I just thought I'd hopefully lighten it up a little bit and make a seafood lasagna. So let's see how it goes. Now, I think the biggest thing is what kind of seafood to use. I have, here it is. I have cooked shrimp, salmon, and a little bit of crab meat. I did crab meat instead of whitefish, but you can substitute whitefish. You can even use scallops. I'm gonna chop up this shrimp a little bit. Obviously, I'm gonna flake up the um, salmon here and then the, this is just canned crab meat. Uh, I didn't have an opportunity to go to the seafood market or at my grocery, uh, grocer uh, seafood counter or whatever and get crab meat. But this will suffice for what we're making. So we've got, um, so I'm using a little bit of shrimp, crab meat. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna make like a white sauce, like a white cheesy sauce. We're gonna use parm for that. And then we're going to, in, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> and then in the ricotta cheese, we're gonna mix in the mozzarella, a little bit of parm and some of the uh, other spices like onion and garlic. And I'm even, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of nutmeg in with the white sauce. And then we're just gonna top each layer with the seafood mixture. So we got a sauce, we have the noodles, we have the ricotta cheese mixture, we have the seafood mixture, and then we're gonna do it all over again. Three more times, I hope. One thing before we get started, because this may go a little quick. In fact, I probably have to take these noodles out. But one thing I did differently, instead of a big pot of boiling water and cooking the noodles, I read a couple of things online and I thought I'd give it a try. So what I did was just find a bowl, find a a big bowl or whatever, a nine by 13 pan, put how many ever, how many noodles you want in the dish and put very hot water, like microwave hot water or boiled water or whatever, and just pour it over the noodles. This will soften up the noodles enough and in the oven, it, the noodles will continue to cook, you know, obviously as you bake the lasagna. But for me, I'm gonna give this a try because look at, my noodles aren't breaking. I didn't overcook them and they're not too soft. So hopefully this will work. We're gonna give it a try. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, got a couple of things to do here. I don't know where my knife went. Oh dear. Okay, I just had it here. Okay, I think I better find my knife before I can do anything. I'm not sure where it went. I've been cooking all day in this kitchen. I probably misplaced it somewhere. So let me go find it. Okay, I found my knife. It was over with the dishes that I had just washed. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of chop up a little bit of this dill. I don't know, whenever I um, make a recipe or cook with food that's seafood, I just think of dill. So I'm just gonna kinda chop this up a little bit. This is gonna go ahead and go in the ricotta cheese. And we're just gonna kinda, well, I can just put it over in the ricotta cheese, I guess. 
And another thing, this is gonna be kind of a rich sauce. We're not putting any wine in it, but I'm also gonna add just a little bit of zest, lemon zest and lemon juice. So I'm gonna go ahead. Um, these, are, these are fairly good size. They're not large, I don't think. Definitely a very good size garlic clove. Use two to three, whatever your preference. I'm, I'm using three here, just because I guess I like garlic. I'm gonna try and mince it up as best I can here. Oh yeah, I think what I started off with, um, I've got my daughter and her husband coming into town. So of course, when they come into town, what do we do? Or what do I hope we all do? I hope we all get together as a family and gather around the table and I'll make a meal for them that hopefully they all like and just talk, catch up. Depending on how long they're here, we'll go for a walk, we'll play games. You know, who knows? Because like when I go home to Michigan, I wanna spend every minute with my dad, but it's also an opportunity to catch up with friends. So here we go here. And I don't know where my, gosh. I think I'm doing too much cooking all in one day because I suddenly can't find half the bowls that I got out. Isn't that kind of weird? You know what else is funny? Chris just came in and he's tiptoeing around the kitchen so he doesn't make too much noise. It's okay, babe. Okay, we're gonna keep going here on the garlic. That's looking good. Is it looking good? I hope so. It's all for those when those crazy kids of mine come by yeah, tomorrow. I'm looking forward to trying it tomorrow. He's in his baseball cap. That means he doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> Sometimes I look at my videos here thinking, what was I thinking? Oh my gosh, I have no makeup on. I do some of these recipes at night and you would think I was up all night or something. So I will try to, and do better at that and um, put a little makeup on and I don't know, I guess look a little presentable <laughs> for the camera. I just get into cooking that I tell you the truth, I literally forget. I literally forget as to, oh yeah, I didn't put lipstick on. Oh yeah, I didn't even, you know, put a little bit of eyeliner, a little bit of mascara, and a little bit of blush or something like that. Sometimes, guys, I really do forget. But since I've already made the recipe, when I go and look at the videos, I'm like, oh brothers, oh dear. Okay, are we done with this garlic yet? <laughs> okay. And you can also mince this too. I'm trying to fine chop it. But feel uh, free to go ahead and use if you've got one of those garlic presses. Okay. Darn, where is? Well, you know what? We're gonna add this all in the ricotta cheese anyway. So I'm just gonna dump it in here. Okay, what else are we gonna do here? Um, we're gonna add in a, just a little bit of onion powder. I did not wanna do onion in this because I just thought onion would overpower the, the richness, the creaminess of the sauce and of um, the seafood. So I don't know, quarter of a teaspoon of onion powder, you don't want a lot. Okay, what did I put on my directions? Oh, oh yeah, garlic. And then we're gonna add in a little bit of the mozz because the Parmesan cheese is gonna go into the sauce. So many different layers here. Uh, because I wanna make a rich ricotta cheese sauce, but I also wanna build up and make a thicker, like white bechamel sauce. So the thing is, which one did I um, um
Just half a cup, yeah. Half a cup of the parm into my ricotta. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and add in a little bit of the zest. I have my zester here. I always forget to take those things off. I don't know why. Because like I said, every time I think of seafood, I think it, it needs brightness. And I think the lemon zest will break up some of the richness of this cheese sauce, white sauce. So it's just one round. There we go. So anyway, yeah, so all my kids will be here. Molly will be here, so I'm pretty excited. So I go all out, or I try to. And i um, just gonna mix this in first before I add my egg. Ugh, just the cheese, the ricotta. I don't think I added any salt in here, did I? Oh dear, did I? I hate it when I forget. That'll be enough. So pretty much it was just a dash. Okay, here we go. Oh, what did I do? Half a cup. Oh, we need a lot more. We need a lot more. Okay, that's one. Okay, that's two cups of uh, ricotta. I mean, uh, mozzarella into the ricotta. I didn't even read my own recipe. Go figure. This is going to be very cheesy. Cheesy, cheesy, cheesy. I might call this cheesy seafood lasagna. Where's that? Egg? I'm going to add the egg in here. Tell you the truth, I think I already added a cup in here. Oh my gosh. Sometimes when I talk too much, I forget what I'm doing. Okay, we've got this. I'm gonna get everything ready before I start the sauce. Okay, I think this is already set to go. We're just gonna kind of push that over there. What seasonings do I the, the nutmeg is gonna go in there? What seasonings did I wanna do? I wanted, I did dill, I wanted to do a little thyme, but I'm debating whether to add thyme into that. So here we go on the seafood. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the crab meat in there. <laughs> then we're just gonna flake apart the salmon. And if you want, just put it in your hands and just break it up. You want it in small little chunks because, um, you know, this is going on the pasta and I don't know, I just don't want the salmon and some of the other seafood to come squishing out. So I'm just really breaking up the salmon with my fingers. Okay. There we go, there's one. And so how much salmon? I have about a pound here of salmon. Each one of these is about a half, an, uh, half a pound or 0.5. And then I'm gonna save that for me. And then I'm just gonna kind of do this other one. And I love this, I got it from this, I just picked it up from my grocery store. And God, you know what? I can't remember what kind of salmon I got, but it doesn't really have any bones in it, which is really nice. So if you do have bones, kind of make sure you get the bones out. That wouldn't be fun taking a bite into lasagna and then you have a fish bone. So yeah, all my kids are doing great. My grandkids, here we are into the new year. 
Jackson, my oldest, started school. It's just so fun being a grandma. And here we are into the new year. I can't even believe it. Okay, here we go. Why is it when your hands get all crummy, the side of your nose or by your eyes starts to itch? Why is that? Why does that happen like that? Okay. We got all that. Now I'm really gonna chop up the fish though. I mean the shrimp. I'm gonna go ahead and chop up the shrimp, so. Do I need anything else? I hope I don't need anything else chopped up. Well, I have enough cutting boards, so. Let me see if one of these tastes good. Mm. Oh yeah. For the shrimp and the salmon to be consistent, I just pretty much a dash of Old Bay seasonings. But yeah, I'm just gonna cut this up in like quarters. So I just want small little bites of uh, shrimp. I think this will be so good. Like I said, you can use a variety of seafood, white fish. If you wanna use scallops, just make sure they're drained so that you don't have a lot of water content. And um, I would definitely probably just use frozen because scallops are expensive. So I'm making two lasagnas for this whole event. I already made the meat lasagna. I'm making a, a seafood one because some of my kids don't eat meat, so I just thought, why not? Why not make two? Okay, I'm gonna finish cutting this up and I'll be back. Okay, I have the shrimp all cut up. We are just gonna mix the seafood together as best we can. Oh, it smells so good. Oops, I forgot to crinkle up that little piece of meat. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna mix this in. And then I am just gonna do, the only other thing I was thinking about doing was tarragon, but I added what dill I had. And I'm just going to squeeze in just a little bit. Can't even be more than. Got to get the seed out. I didn't see any seeds, so I didn't think there'd be anything in here. So I'm just going to, just a little bit. I would have to say not more than half a teaspoon. It, it's not a lot. So if you don't have a fresh lemon around, I, I wouldn't worry about it. And since the salmon and the shrimp were already seasoned with the Old Bay seasoning, I'm really not gonna add any more salt. So there we go. I did not add any parsley in with the ricotta cheese, so we're just gonna add in a little bit of parsley. Mix that in there. And then we are now gonna get going on our sauce. So we're gonna head on over to the stove. I really have kind of a mess going on here. I got my lemon, the seafood mixture, the ricotta cheese. I'm gonna go ahead and, well, get that out of there. But go ahead and use the rest of the cheese and then we're getting that flour. And so we're getting ready to make our white sauce. I know you can't see this very well. Where did my hot pad go? So, but yeah, it's starting to thicken up. You kind of just want to cook down the flour so you don't have that raw flour taste. Okay, I think 
I have it. So now we are going to get into creating the liquid. Oops. I'm so used to just pouring in the milk, but I forget when I do these videos, I need to pay attention. So I'm just gonna slowly whisk in the milk. I think a piece of parsley got in the sauce. So that's one cup. I'm gonna go ahead and do another. That was only one. This is two. And then you just keep stirring it, keep whisking it, maybe turn up your heat just a little bit to help it thicken up. But you know, it will take a few minutes. I have a tendency to be too impatient. Okay, that's my third. I'm just gonna keep whisking it until it thickens up. I know you guys can't really see what I'm doing here, can you? So this is my sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and add in the Parmesan cheese to this. And the Parmesan cheese, I think it was about a cup. So this will kind of help make it all cheesy and thicken up as well. Here we go. Sometimes we rush when we're making sauces or just taking the time for our like onions to caramelize or when we're making risotto or things like that. And you know, to get the right consistency and you know, the right mix and everything else, it, it takes time. So my white sauce is finally coming together. It's thickening up. And if I need to, I can always add in more milk. But it kind of falls off the, kind of drips off, but it's thickening up. So I'm gonna turn this off in a minute and just let it set and cool before we assemble the cheesy seafood lasagna. Okay, I have, my, oops, I have my pan ready. I buttered it a little bit since this is a cream sauce and stuff, I didn't want it to uh, stick, the lasagna to stick. So we are just gonna put a little sauce on here you know i don't like this to spread it around though i think i'm gonna use this get a little bit more on the other side i should use one of those um gosh i don't know what they call that spatula but you use it for cakes and stuff anyway Okay, there we go. I got my noodles over here. There's one, look at this. It's so easy to, I'm gonna say this one for something. Three, and then I think I'm just going to overlap this right there. 
you're kind of working a puzzle, especially when your nine by 13 pan isn't all squared up. Okay, we're gonna do that. Then we're gonna do a little bit of the ricotta. Kind of spread that out. It's very similar to, you know, your meat-based ricotta. Just kind of spread it out a little bit. Make sure that the noodles are as covered as best you can. Meaning you don't miss any, you know, major, major spots. Okay. Put a little bit over here. Okay. A little bit over there. Okay, there we go. And then we're gonna add in the seafood. I hope, can, can you guys see this, see? The sauce, the noodles, the ricotta. Then we're just gonna kinda put the seafood over this. I kinda follow where the noodles are. I, I don't know why, but you could probably just sprinkle it all over the place, I suppose. But I don't know, I just wanna make sure everything gets right where the noodles are because that's where the cheese and everything else is gonna fall. We just wanna make sure it's kinda of evenly evened out. Okay, there we go. I think that's good. Okay, and then we go for the sauce again. Look at that, it seems like to be so much easier <laughs> when you got that first layer down. But this reminds me of those seven layer cakes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do another layer and I'll meet you back here when this is all done. I'm pressing it down a little bit just so, I don't know. Oh. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get my scissors. Because the noodles are just tearing, so I'm just gonna cut it and place it where it meets the end of the nine by 13 pan. Oh, is that not just simple? It's a lot better than tearing it because the noodles aren't done. They're just soft enough, palatable enough to, um, to kind of lay down and, you know, put the, put the mixtures on them. There we go. Make sure I have enough for the third layer. Okay, there we go. Another layer of the seafood. Sorry, I'm not talking. I'm just really hoping this turns out. It's been a while since I've done this. 
and I really hope that everyone likes it tomorrow when we gather. Just to be so excited, because you know, we don't get a chance to see Molly and Joel as often. So we just really want to welcome them and let them know we miss them. Okay, the sauce. This is my last one. Tell you the truth, I think I would have preferred to have made a little more sauce. So on the directions, I may revise the quantities for this sauce, okay? No one wants to not have enough. Okay, there we go. When I was making the other one, you know, the meat one, I was like, I forgot. There's only three layers. And I forgot how many I put on. It was ridiculous. Anyway, and then we got a little bit of left noodle noodles left over, but that's okay. Okay, now we're gonna use up the rest of this ricotta here. Oops. I will have enough. All right. Because you definitely want enough to cover most of the noodle. Because the noodles have to continue to finish cooking. All right. I'm going to try and get the rest of it out of here. Let's use my spoon over there. It's all going in the same thing anyway. Okay. Okay, there we go. We're gonna use up the rest of this seafood. Just want to make sure I distribute. Wow, I just had enough. But I will, I think I'm going to up the quantity on this sauce. Because I think I need a little more sauce. Okay, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and use a spoon instead of this. Make sure I get all of that. gonna do that you guys don't know how precarious this whole 9 by 13 pan is sitting on this counter it's crazy yeah I would like maybe a, an extra cup
You know, this might have seemed like a very involved dish. I think half of it is because when I do these videos, it feels like even to me that it takes longer than it really does if you're just doing it on your own. Okay, I think we're done here. I don't want to ruin this. And then we're going to top it off with our leftover mozz, mozzarella, and Parmesan cheese. So I told you, cheesy seafood lasagna. Because the, even the sauce is cheesy. I might as well just use it all. And so I'm gonna cover this a little bit so it has a chance to heat up, finish cooking the noodles, melting the cheese, warming up the seafood. There we go. Okay. Phew! I've got a lot of dishes to clean up, but I cannot wait to taste the seafood lasagna, this cheesy seafood lasagna. So I'm gonna put it in the oven at about 350, 375 degrees, and you're gonna to wanna to cook it maybe about 30 minutes. So I would cover it at least for 15 to 20 and then uncover it and cook it for an additional maybe 10 to 15 minutes. So, I gotta figure out which oven is still hot. And, let's see here. So this is what it looks like. I had to wear my glasses this time, you guys. I know, it's such a bummer. I'm gonna wipe this stuff off so it's, the cheese sauce isn't all over my dish. What in the world happened? There we go. Whoops. Okay. Okay, we're gonna cover it up. Another good way to prevent the foil from sticking to the cheese is stick a couple of toothpicks in there and have the foil rest on it. So let me see here. Oh yeah, it's my top oven. I don't know why I insist I'm doing that. Probably because it has convection bake. But it's the hardest to get anything in. why I don't use the lower part of the oven because uh, it, it would be so much easier to get a heavy dish in and the awkwardness of it for me. So anyway, I'll see you back here in about 40 minutes for cheesy seafood lasagna. So thank you for joining me in my little kitchen. Well, hi, it's the day after that we had Molly and Joel here and they came down for the weekend. So of course I had to gather the whole family and because we're just so excited when they come. I don't get to see Molly as often living up in the Spokane area and stuff like that. So have to have a big dinner. So I made two different kinds of lasagna and this is one of them, seafood lasagna. It's been, gosh, a long time since I've made that. This turned out so good. It is creamy. You've, uh, what I put in it was a little bit of salmon, uh, crab meat, and shrimp. And oh, it is so good. You know, it's kind of like a different spin on, you know, like uh, spaghetti or linguine or penne or whatever other pasta, but in lasagna form. The, the cheese, the, the white sauce to it. Anyway, so good. Of course, I don't have much left, so everyone liked it. Of course, that makes me happy. 
and we had a, such a wonderful time. But anyway, let me taste it. Sometimes lasagna, like a lot of foods, it tastes, I don't want to say better, but all the ingredients and the spices and everything get to meld together so much more or whatever. And so sometimes it's good the day after too. Mm. I love this. If you like seafood, you're going to love this. This is, you know, like I said, a different spin on lasagna. I love it. It's cheesy. It's white. It doesn't have that uh, deep, rich uh, flavor of a tomato sauce and the meat. So it's a little more mellow, which, of course, if you like that, it's a different option. So anyway, check it out over at amyroloffslittlekitchen.com. And I hope you make it. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would absolutely love it. We've got some other things planned in 2023 for it. So anyway, give seafood lasagna a chance if you've never made it or this version of what I did. And let me know what you think. So anyway, go to Amy Roloff's Little, Amy Roloff's Little Kitchen com to get the recipe. So from my table to yours or my little kitchen to yours, Keep enjoying gathering around the table with family and friends. Okay, bye.